Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing Series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about inheritance in Python. So let's begin. So what is inheritance? So let's take a real time example where we inherit the properties or attributes from our parents and the grandparents. So you are going somewhere and your friends, colleagues or people say that your way of talking is just like your father, maybe your mother, maybe your grandparents. And the reason is that we inherit the properties from our parents or the grandparents. The similar concept is used in the programming language. So in Python, when you talk about the inheritance, this means that there will be a parent class and the subclasses. And in this case, the subclass will be inheriting some properties from the parent class. Okay. So this is the very simple definition of the inheritance. Now, what is the purpose of using the inheritance? It promotes a code reusability and allow us to create a hierarchy of the classes that share the common properties and the behaviors. Now, there are multiple types of inheritance in the Python. Let me go to the notepad over here and let me write it down. The first one is single level inheritance. So basically, there would be a child class inherits from one parent class so let me write it down a child class inherits from one parent class then we have multiple inheritance multiple inheritance and in this case a child class inherits from multiple parent class so in the first one, in a single one, so let's take a real time example where there is a father and the son. So son is having some attributes from the father. This is a single inheritance. When you talk about the multiple inheritance over here, so basically you are getting the properties from both of your parents, your mother and the father. So a child class inherits from multiple parent classes okay and then we have a multi-level inheritance so multi-level inheritance so so in this kind of a inheritance a class is derived from a class that is also a derived class so basically a class a class okay is derived from a let me close this one derived from a class okay which that is also a derived class okay so basically there is let me you know simplify this one sounds like a difficult one so it's just like you you have a grandparent your grandparent inherits some properties from uh, your four grandparents and then your parents. So it's like grandfather, father, and son. So your father inherits inherit from your grandfather, and you inherited from the your father. So this is basically a multi-level. And then we have a hierarchical. Let me write it down hierarchical and in this kind of uh, inheritance multiple classes inherit from a single parent it's just like a single parent having a multiple child okay so multiple classes inherit from a single parent class and then we have finally a uh, hybrid so basically hybrid is basically a combination of any of the above okay so now this is the idea about the inheritance now let's go to the pycharm and let's practically learn this one so let me create one new python file i'm naming it as inheritance inheritance and now what i will do is that i will create a parent class Okay, so let's take a automation example. So in automation cases, what happens is that first we need to set up a test. 
right? And where the browser or configuration needs to be set up. Then test needs to be executed, okay? And then finally, there should be a run or report or something like that. So let's do this here in the terms of the inheritance. So let me create a class and let me name it as test setup. And now let's go with the init function. And here, let's suppose in the setup, we need to set up for a browser. Okay, so I'm passing here as a browser and say self dot browser is equals to browse. Okay, now this will set up a browser. Now, for example, we need to set up some environment and I say uh, set up underscore environment and environment. and here simply I am just going with the print statement to make it easier and here I will be using a f string and passing the things means that passing the browser to the environment okay so I'll say setting the browser over here so basically self dot browser into the environment okay and here we need to remove this from here and push the course at the end okay now, now this is our first class now what i will do is that my test executions in automation is that they will actually using this setup right so what i'll do is that i'll create one more class for the test execution text execution and now in order to inherit my test setup class what i need to do is that i need to pass this into this particular class so simply i will say test setup inside this one so in this way i will inherit my above class into this one okay now here i will be writing again some init function and some other function so now now basically i have inherited my above class so this means that i can use the properties okay so browser I can say, for example, test underscore name, and here I will say, for example, this a uh, function called super super underscore edit, and inside that I will be passing the browser. So basically, this browser is inherit. This browser attribute is inherited from the test setup class over there. And now I will say simply self dot test underscore name is equals to test underscore name. Okay. And now I'm creating another function to run the test. So run underscore test and here again i will be going with a simple print with a, a string so i will say okay running test and here i will be passing self dot self dot testing okay and now our second class is done now here what I did is that I did a single inheritance and we know that we can do a multi-level inheritance where this class will be inherited by this class and now I will create another class which will inherit this class. Okay. So I will say class and here after execution for example we need report. Right. So I will say report and I need to pass so i can either pass that particular class on the top or 
the second one okay so here I'm passing this one and simply creating a function to generate a report so generate underscore report and again I will go with the f string over here so I will say here once this function will be called so what it will do is that it will simply print generating report for and I need a report for the test case which got executed on the specific browser so I will say here so basically I will go with the self self dot test underscore name okay so generating report on this particular test name and then I will say on on particular browser on browser and here I will pass the self dot browser now you might be wondering if I am inheriting from this particular class then how I am getting this self dot browser because this is you know defined in this particular class so basically my this test report class is inheriting from this class and this class is already inherited from this one so this class has all the properties accessible from this particular class so that's that's the reason over here now just you know we have created a multiple class so for this demonstration i'm creating all classes inside a single file but in ideal cases you might be creating the classes into different files okay so i say test equals to test report and i say okay i need a report for chrome and the so I need to provide the name of the browser and the name of the test. I will say login test. And I just need to call the setup in order to run this test. So test dot setup environment, then test dot I need to run the test. And then at the end, we need test dot generate report. And that's it and now let's run this one so you see that we got printed set setting the chrome in the environment running the test login test then the report for the login test on the browser chrome so basically what we did is that so tomorrow if you want to run on the different browser you want to run the different test cases here you can reuse the code based on you know defining it once and inheriting the properties from the different classes thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial